Good evening, I'm Teresa Bradkey. An Indiana University law professor is making plans to move to the big office in Washington, D.C. as part of President-elect Barack Obama's transition team. Don Johnson previously served in the Department of Justice under President Bill Clinton. Her new pre position will place her within the Department of Justice Review. Johnson will continue her full teaching duties throughout the transition. RCA Dome, former home of the Indianapolis Colts, is less than five weeks away. Since the roof was deflated on September 24th, crews have been working to get everything out of the building. The remainder of the construction will continue and is scheduled for the morning of December 20th. The IU men's basketball team squeezed past in-state foe IUPUI Tuesday night, capturing its second consecutive victory. WTIU sports reporter Dave Leno has more. It was as thrilling as an in-state grudge gets. Not a blowout, not a slaughter, but an even keel matchup down to the wire. After 48 minutes of hard-nosed, gut-wrenching basketball, the Hoosiers might have won the battle. But IUPUI coach Ron Hunter says his players have every right to keep their heads up. When they'll go home tomorrow, I think every one of these kids are going to be happy about this. These are Indiana kids. If you look at my roster, all these kids, we got 15 kids and only 13 of them are from the state of Indiana. The Hoosiers didn't score a bucket until four minutes into the first half. Like their game against Northwestern State, they struggled rebounding the ball. But when forward Tom Pritchard got involved, IU and its fan base came back to life. We want to play through him inside. We've got some different guys that, that uh, are skilled enough to play out of the high post, play out of the mid post area, and uh, not only score, but, but pass the ball. And we've got to continue to help him learn to be even better in the ways of using his body. And that will help that much more. But he. Uh, He's been a joy to coach. Pritchard recorded a game-high 19 points, accompanied by 10 rebounds. Three other Hoosiers tallied double figures as well. But IUPUI stood toe-to-toe -to -toe on both sides of the ball and forced 14 turnovers. It was the type of battle Crean said was important for his team to experience. From Assembly Hall, Dave Leno, WTIU News. For the weather tonight, mostly clear, lows in the upper 20s. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy with a chance of flurries, highs in the mid-30s. For WTIU, I'm Teresa Bradkey.